Hello and welcome to the Dutching channel. It is Tuesday morning, the 2nd of April 2024, and it's just gone 8.35 in the morning. Now today we're going to do the selections from Pontifract, and we're going to start with their first race, the 145. They have got seven races here through to quarter to five. So you can see in the first race, yet again, we've got horses that haven't seen a racetrack. So this first race will end up being a no bet. And then we'll move into race two, where now we have a non-runner overnight, Clan Chieftain. So let's take, it was my outsider anyway, so we'll take that out of the field. I did put these little jockeys on here, starting from last night, so people that saw the end of day video would have known, but this is just the colours of my top selection. That's all that is. So the 215 then, a handicap, just three go to post now. A little bit of a change today. I'm now using my account in Smarkets. So we'll see how different these prices are going to be from what Matchbook was. So we'll move into the second race here. And again, you can see above the top, you have an over round figure of 104, just dropping down to just under 103 now. But because I, this is the site that I use, you can see this is how much I've got left in the bank overnight after a, a seriously bad day yesterday out of 500. So it wasn't great, but we will go on the way we mean to and try to get back to winning ways. But if people would have saw yesterday how unlucky it was out of 43 bets. We have 14 that were second. And 11 of our bets that won were the last selection. And you know what happens in the last selection. Whatever money you've got left, you have to put it on up to £50. So if those 11, just those 11 on their own, if they would have won instead of sort of being the last selection one, it could have turned into a £150 win. And that's besides any of those 14 that could have, you know, was really unlucky that could have and should have won. But reality tells us we're not at that point. Right, so I will show you how this works on Smart. It is, it is my favourite out of all the, the sites. But Matchbook did have a very good layout. But this is a bit more colourful. So... Going back to my sheet, you can see here that Torcello is the number one selection. And that's currently trading at 3.7. Don't forget the over round figures. Because I never bet. That. Because of yesterday was a serious day. 43 bets was betting every five minutes. I had to get the bets on 10 minutes prior. Because it just makes sense. But somewhere like today, where we've just got a race every 15 minutes, and at night, in the evening, we've got a race every half an hour, I can do it five minutes beforehand. It's, it's no problem. But 10 minutes is most probably the best time to do it and get it out of the way. Right, so as I said, Torcello was currently trading at 3.7. And a stake of £27.03 pence would return us £100. And our second selection is Billy No Mates. And Billy No Mates, that's the outsider, and that's trading at 5.3. And £18.87 stake would return us £100. And that means we got £4.11, and, and that would go on the favourite. And at the moment, that would be 1.74. I mean, someone was saying to me yesterday, you're back two horses in a three horse race, you can't get the winner. 
But how I try to explain that, I mean, that could happen in this race, couldn't it? The bottom selection wins. But how many times, if you had Manchester City at home and the draw, how many times would the outsider lose? Because I had the outsider yesterday, and for some reason, they think it should have won. And it's cut, it was trading at six, and I backed the other two, and the outsider won. But you tell me how many times that would happen in the season, that Man City would lose at home to a team that was roughly six, and the same with Liverpool, or even Arsenal. You know, you're not going to win many, so don't think I should be sitting there and having to get a six to one shot to win as the outsider, and it should have won. Because these these are just not reality. You know, the day before, I had a three horse race and I had a 10.86 winner. But that same person doesn't come on and go, how'd you pick that out? You've done well with it. Nothing. People just like to belittle you and down you. But anyway, that's my that's me off my soapbox for a minute or two. Right, we're going to move into now the next race, which is going to be the 2.45. Just five go at the post here. So we'll go into markets. Just got to remember how to do all this really more than anything. But they're quite good because they've got all the times at the top there. So there's the five. At least you can see everything on this. Like the over round figure is just there. But everyone just has a black background and puts it in grey. So sometimes they're a little bit hard to see the amounts because of the colours. And our top selection here is going to be Robert Johnson. And Robert Johnson is third in at the moment. This is currently trading at 5.8. And then we've got Maxi Dent as our second selection. And that's currently trading at 3.7. So I better go back to the first one. Robert Johnson, 5.8 stakes of £17.24 would return £100 and Maxident 3.7 £27 and 3 pence would return £100. So, so far we've staked 44.27. This was what I'm on about, about the 11 winners I had yesterday. With what we've got left now, £5.73 is what I was having on 11 of those that won yesterday. So even if a few of them, or I don't know, four or five out of that 11, half of them came up, then that figure of £369 loss could have been wiped out quite easily. Now the third selection in this is Gubinator. And Gubinator is currently the favourite at 3.6. So we know we're not going to be able to put the full money on it. And what we've got left is £5.73. So when I bring the calculator, you, you'll see exactly what I mean, because we're not going to get anywhere near £100 back. But I always say, always do that cover bet. And it proved 11 times yesterday that at least something back was better than nothing. So £5.73 times 3.6 would receive £20.62. And then you would have two running for you, Robert Johnson and Maxi Dent, one of those would return you £100. And I always say, yeah, that's okay, you've got £20 to come back if the other horse wins as a cover. But... You could, if you imagine you've had that in second instead of third, you've got another £80 on it. So those 11 yesterday would have given me an extra 514 if they were one place higher. But they weren't. And it's all ifs and buts and maybes. So I don't really want to keep going down it, but people keep reminding me of it. But they don't remind me of the £1,900 that are profited from the 6th of March to the 31st. 
but we won't bother with that. Right, into the 315, eight go to post here, no non-runners as yet. And in the 315, our number one selection here will be vintage clarets. And you can see again with the colors and everything else, if you're doing the top selections, you've got the colors in front of you there just to, just to follow. And then we'll go into markets. And vintage claret series, you can see the colors match. Vintage clarets that's currently trading at 5.5. So stakes of 18 pounds and 18 pence would return 100 pounds. And when moon is our number two. And when Moon is currently trading there at 5.1 and stakes of 19 pounds 61 pence would return 100 pounds. We've still got 12 pounds 21 to invest, and our third selection is looking for Linda. And looking for Linda, that's down the bottom there, that's currently trading at 13.5. And stakes of seven pounds forty one pence would return us one hundred pounds, and that now means we have four pounds eighty left. So the four pounds eighty will go on to spoof, and that's currently trading at twenty two. So let's just make sure that we can put the rest on that. Oh, in fact, we can do a full bet on that one because of the price. So let me just put the extra 26 pence. That's what we'll have left. Yes, yeah, spoof. Trading at 22 and stakes of £4.55 will return £100. And then we will have 26 pence left. And this will go on to higher mate. And that's currently trading at 13. As I always say at this point, it's up to you whether you bother putting like 26 pence on, but everything adds up. It doesn't cost you any more. You're staking 50 pounds per race anyway. And it won't get you hardly anything back. But at the end of the day, if you had 10 winners like that, it would give you something. So £3.38 would be the return if high a mate would win, but otherwise we got four running, and they are vintage clarets, when moon, looking for Linda and spoof. One of those four would return us 100 pounds. And now we're going to go on to the next race, the 345. Another small field here, five go to post, no non runners. And our top selection this time would be Twilight Romance. So we'll get into the race here. And Twilight Romance currently second favourite at 3.6. Stakes of £27.28 would return us £100. And our second selection, James Delight. Well, that is at the moment 9 to 4 or 3.25. And we can't afford to put £30.77, but we do have £22.22. £22. So our second selection there, James Delight, £22.22. Times the 3.25 SP, and that would return a £72.21. So again, it's like nearly 28 quid off. You can see where I'm coming from, from all the other ones that I had. That you know, you've lost yourself 28 quid, but it's better to be drawing something. So that will return 72.21, and Twilight Romance will be your number one selection. And if this wins, we'll return £100.
And then we're going to go into the 415. Got a non run Oh, I think that non run I run yesterday, and I think I've already taken that out. So six go at the post in the 415, another handicap. Yeah, there we go. So that is our number one selection here as Bastam. So let's have a look in markets. And Bastam here is the favorite and this is currently just over 11 to 10 at 2.16 and stakes of 46 pounds 30 would return 100 pounds and our second selection damascus steel damascus steel there that's currently trading at eight and we've only got three pounds 70 in the kitty so that's what we would put on damascus steel so three pounds 70 times eight would get a return of nearly 30 pounds 29 pounds 60 if that was the win and Bastam would return us £100. And we're going to go into, which is the last race now at Pontefract. 12 go to post in the 445 for another handicap. And our top selection here is Perfect Swiss. And we'll go back into the markets. Into the last race. And perfect Swiss here, right down the bottom. That's trading at 19. And stakes of £5.26 would return £100. I don't know if anybody saw that race I did yesterday. It must have. Can't be where it was now. Wickcoon something. And I had that, and that was a 36.5 winner. So there's been a lot of... Might have had uh, losses over these last three days, but there's certainly been some huge winners. 67.5 I had, 52.83, and some 30s and some 20s. So there's been some big ones, if you were lucky enough to sort of turn on at that time and say, yeah, I think I'll back that. Right, Harswell Duke. This is trading at 9.2 and stakes of £10.87 would return £100. Our third selection is Star Shield. And Star Shield, yeah, that's currently 11. And stakes of nine pound and nine pence would return one hundred pounds. And our fourth selection is Phoenix Fire. And Phoenix Fire, that's trading at eighteen point five on the exchange. And five pound forty one would return us one hundred pounds. And our fifth selection is Gainsbourg. can't see that at the top or the bottom so let's just go through them slowly there it is and Gainsbourg that's currently trading at 14 and would require stakes of seven pounds 14 to return 100 pounds and that still leaves us with 12 pound 23 to invest and our sixth selection will be on the river and on the river, that's 7.8 at the moment. And that would require stakes of £12.82. But we've only got £12.23. So there's pretty much a top selection there as well. So we're going to go to our sixth selection on the river, £12.23 times the 7.8 SP and that would give us £95.39 if on the river was to win and then we've got five running for us 
Perfect Swiss, Carswell Duke, Star Shield, Phoenix Fire, and Gainsbourg. And one of those five would return £100. And as I say, that's the last race at Pontefract. So we're going to do a quick recap of that meeting. The first race, the 145, is a no betting race. The 215, we've gone for two selections here, Torcello and Billy No Mates. One of those two will return £100 and Throne Hall will be the lesser amount. The 245, two selections again. Robert Johnson and Maxi Dent. One of those two would return £100. And Gubinator would be the lower amount. And then into the 315. Four running for us here. Vintage Clarets, Wen Moon, Looking for Linda and Spoof. One of those four would return £100. And higher mate would be the lower amount. Into the 345, just the one running for us. Twilight Romance will return £100. And James Delight would be the lesser amount. Then into the 415, just one running for us here, which is Bastam. This would return £100. And Damascus Steel, the lower amount. And into the last, we've got five running for us. Perfect Swiss, Harswell Duke, Star Shield, Phoenix Fire, and Gainsbourg. One of those would return £100, and On the River would be the lesser amount. So that's everything there at Pontefract. So let's hope we all pick some winners, and I'll catch you tonight with the results show. Thanks for watching.